Good morning guys, today I feel really good. Jared was so sweet, I slept in, I feel amazing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I post on Instagram stories a lot in between us vlogging. I love Instagram stories. And Jackson has been loving, he's like trying to tie a shoe. <laughs> he's been loving reading. He likes toys, but he doesn't play with them. I read. You like to read. He's always been this way, even like as a little kid, I would always tell Bonnie, I'm like, your kids are like creative and play. I was like, Jackson doesn't really like to play with toys. So in the past, I've bought like lots of toys because it's like, oh, maybe if he has lots of variety, he'll play. He still doesn't like sit and just like play with toys. He loves cars. He loves rocks. He loves outdoors. You love Mario Kart. And lately, he's been loving trying to read the clock, the time. He learned his letters a year and a half ago and he's been learning how to put them together now. And so like sight words, he's been learning a few of those. And then he's been trying to read. Maybe this, can you show them how you try and read that? Kids. Kids, you know that one. Can you try and read? Oh wait, what about this little one in between here? It starts with an S. Straw. 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 So like he'll see a word and he'll try his hardest to read it. And then once he learns the word and he sees it later, he like knows it right away. And it's been really fun to watch him. He's just been reading a lot. And so I wanted to show you these little books. I bought these from his preschool and they have a website on them. So I, I haven't been there, but if you go to the website, I'm wondering if you can pick them up there. We'll just grab one book. The program is read at three. If you oh, go to www readat3.org is the website that, that's the on the book, books. The title is Odd. Odd. Oh, he's going to read us a book. I C and D. Yeah? What's that? And D. Ox. Ox. I yeah. I C A. A Don't hit him, honey. An ox. That's Good job. awesome. Even while Calvin was pounding your belly. I C and I am so proud of you. He is odd. <laughs> yep. He gets confused. But he's like, why? Why would they say that? K S. I'm so proud of you. This is so cool. So I want to like spend a minute and tell you guys kind of like what Jackson likes and that he's been really into reading and it's been amazing. And so when I walked out this morning and he was sitting on the couch with Calvin reading a book, I thought that's what Jackson likes, you know? Anyway, okay. What else are we gonna do today? I don't know, I got a tie shoe. I'll be back, I got a tie shoe. This was Calvin's doing. <laughs> That's cute. Calvin smiles like unreal. <laughs> here, let's put your hand right here. And you hold his hand. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I love it. Alright, big smiles for Shanda. I love it. I love it. Hey, Calvin. Tell me, tell me. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. a.m. We did a mini photo shoot at our house this morning. We have Bonnie, 
We have the kids. Look, we have some friends over. We have our awesome friend Shanda over that takes some photos when we specifically need some really good oh, yeah. photos for photo shoot. I'll explain a little bit about what the photo shoot was about here in a minute, but we got to eat. The kids are starving, so I got Happy Meals for all of them because they were all so good and played together downstairs. I cannot believe that Tommy is sitting up now all by yourself. We've been sitting here building blocks and putting toys in our mouth. He is officially sitting up like I can leave him and he will be fine. This is so crazy. You grew screw overnight. You smell like a baby today. Like I actually like I like it. Like it's weird. Each of my kids have had their own scent. You smell so good. I like it. I like it. Okay, while our boys are in our rooms right now. Wait, freeze. There's something wrong with this camera. Hold, please. And we're back. Okay, we put the boys in their rooms for quiet time. Mm -hmm. And Jackson's like, why can't I watch a movie for quiet time? I'll be so quiet. And I was like, that's not the point. I was like, you need to play with some toys mm -hmm. or look at some books yep. and be for your on your own for a minute in your room. Yes. So they're in their rooms and I'm hoping Tommy stays okay for no, we have about one minute to explain. <laughs> if you didn't hear, he just started like whining in his room. As a parent, or if you are not a parent, have you ever said something, I will never do that. I will never let my kids have electronics. I will never get a Facebook account. I will never let my kids have candy after 8 p.m. I'll never let my kids eat cookies for breakfast. And you have then, never said that. I've never said that. <laughs> and then eat in your word and then realize like, Oh, the reason you do something is your mind has changed. And it's time to make a change. Over the last five years of doing YouTube and social media, there has been many, many times where people will create accounts for our kids. So they will either do like, like some fan, I don't like saying the word fan, but like fan accounts, or they will pretend to be our kids where they'll create an account and say words and act as if it is them running the account. And it's kind of like a little bothered me, especially when they pretend to be them. Jared and I have talked about it many times in the past and we decided that like, we don't want to create accounts for our kids. And that's why we like have our Instagrams, like have pictures of us and our kids on it. And that's just kind of what we always wanted is not to yeah. have them account. At least until they were old enough to have them for themselves. That was like our original plan. And then over the last, I would say six months, I've been noticing more and more accounts that are not just like created for them, but they're really acting as if it's their name. And it's, it's just started to bother me a lot more. And so I told Jared, I think it would be best if we could get those accounts under our hold. I'm trying, it's, it's really hard to explain like how I'm feeling about it, but I want to be in control of their name so that other people don't take their photos under their name and like do worse things that I've, that I've seen. Yeah. Pretend to be them and post things that wouldn't follow the nature of them. If yeah. that makes sense. So over the last few months, Ellie and I have gone through a few measures to either create accounts for or re-obtain account names for each of our three kids. And we really are appreciative of the people that have had, um, let's say like Jackson's account, they were super sweet. We messaged them, they gave us the information, so now we're able to manage it. We had like a transfer of ownership for Jackson's Instagram account. How crazy is that? So that went smooth, but there's been some situations that have not been smooth in the slightest, mm -hmm. and we have had to go through extreme measures making sure that- We could verify their identity. So that they are ours, as because someone's running them as an account, so we have to prove that it's our child that someone else has used their name and using their pictures. So we literally had to message Instagram with a picture of Calvin with his passport with his passport number to verify that this is indeed our kid <laughs> so it's been, a little, it's been a little wild and yeah. it's something that we have eaten our words that mm -hmm. we said we would never do but now we're doing I have many many reasons why I'm doing that and so I just wanted you guys to know that they do have Instagram accounts they are managed and run by us yes and that those are 
available if anyone would like to follow them, but I just kind of wanted to explain the process because sometimes people might see a picture go up and they may say, oh my gosh, Ellie, because they will send me screenshots and be like, someone's running this account, but it is under us, and we just want to let you guys know. So if you guys would like to follow the official accounts of Jackson, Calvin, and Tommy run and managed by us, we'll have them right below the like button in the description box. Yes. Um, how are you, Mr. Calvin? Are you done with quiet time? Yeah. You had a good quiet time. I'm proud of you, buddy. You played a lot in your bedroom, yeah. didn't you? And like, that's that's the reason we didn't want them to watch a movie because it's like, we want them to have their independent play time. We don't want them to be entertained. We want them to entertain yeah. themselves. Calvin really likes it. Sometimes yes. it's hard for Jared, Jackson, but. Sometimes it's hard for me too. <laughs> yeah. Jackson, I think Ooh. we need to order some books, by the way, because he's reading some more. I like want to order, order some, some beginner books? books. I asked on Twitter and a lot of people recommended Bob <laughs> books for starter books for reading so I think that paint Jackson you. and I are gonna sit down he's gonna paint him because he's got paint on his shirt we're gonna order some reading books okay we will show you guys the books when they come but we ordered a few books on Amazon the Bob books that you guys recommended to us and then what other book did we order for you to read little dinosaurs go to school little dinosaurs go to school and then there's one more yeah. Pete the Cat. He loves Pete the Cat. So we ordered those books. So they're beginner books and I am like, it just like happened. He just like started becoming really interested in it. And I really, especially with Jax, like if he becomes interested, I want to like get on it right away and not like wait. So if he loves reading, I want him to be interested and love it, you know? What else do you love? We talked about that earlier, but. I like, um. Do you have certain toys that you love? I like my basketball. He loves his basketball. That's pretty fun too. You're active. Yeah. You're an active little child. You wear me out. <laughs> what you wear me out? That means, you know how I always say, I'm tired. Yeah. You make me tired. In a good way. Tommy yeah. is not wanting to take a nap. I've already gone in twice to try and get him to take a nap. What are you <laughs> doing, crazy? Take my bullet. Don't out eat of the bullet. Don't eat them, okay? Five Kinder Eggs, I want one. Nope. Nope, you already had one. <laughs> I want a Kinder Egg. The answer is... No. Yes. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go figure this out. Breaking toys and babies and Jackson. Okay, all right. Tom Tom, you are so cute. And you're being quiet now. Tommy does not want to take a nap. Do you, little stinker? So I wore him, I'm wearing him right now. Oh yes, my little baby. Mm -hmm. I am getting ready to go drop a few things off at my friend's house. She is having a baby soon, and I wanna show you guys like what I'm dropping off at her home. I have a few hair things that if she wants, she can have some hair product stuff, but Tommy, Use the this docket tot and look how good and clean it still is he would always get this dirty I wash it probably every maybe like once a week I would wash it and he just grew out of it So he got a bigger size and so I'm gonna give this to my neighbor and then Obviously this I really didn't use this as much as I thought I would this time But this is still really good. So I'm gonna give her this and then I'm gonna give her our rock and play. There are two rock and plays, the old style, which is amazing. Or this style, it will rock on its own. You push the button. It was a lifesaver at the beginning. I really liked that. So I'm gonna give that to her. And then I just have a few baby products in here. Some swaddles and some nursing stuff in here that I'm gonna give to her. Okay, are we ready? I might have to take a few trips. This is a lot of stuff. Jackson Calm said they'd help, but we'll see how that goes. Is this crazy or what? I'm in my office and I hear Tommy saying, Mama! He's looking at me saying it. Like, he knows. You're so happy. Tommy, look at Say, say Mama. Mm. Say mm. Mama. Mama. He looked at me and said it. I didn't say anything. He looked at me and said it earlier. Oh, so cute. Mm. Do it one more time. Oh, good job wiping your face. That's great. You got a whole crew watching you. Where Let's you see it. Tom, Tom? Hey. Tom, here you go. <laughs> Mama. Mama. <laughs> oh, we tried. I'm sorry. It was our moment. It was Not your moment. Else. I heard it though. He looked at me without saying anything. Mama. <laughs> 
We'll get it really good soon. On Instagram, Ellie and I have been posting about what Friday night party is actually like. And this is our Bali party right now. <laughs> shake it, buddy. Shake it. Oh, wait, what was I doing? The, the wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man. Getting sick. <laughs> I am now currently overstocked on wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube men. By the time this video goes up, will our Bali website be launched? Um, the 29th. It, it will be very close, I think, but visit BaliBrand.com to see the new spring line. We have hand-picked fabrics. We have amazing designs right now. I would say my favorite is for sure the dress. It's just amazing. It flatters you so well. But the t-shirt is so fun. It's like not see-through. It's amazing. If you guys want to check it out, make sure to check out our website in the description. Can we do something real quick? Yeah. Today's video is brought to you by BollyBrand.com. Oh, today's video is sponsored by BollyBrand. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just kidding. Incredible. Isn't that cool? <laughs> check out the links down below and be sure to. Am I gonna get a check? I don't know. Do we get? Is that, how do you sponsor your own video? I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. But anyway, we are wrapping Thanks, up our guys. evening. Yes, thank you for all the support, and we will see you guys on the website and next time. Bye bye. bye.